Alright, hey y'all, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Um, well, are gonna, we are going to do the Burning Shores DLC. Uh, it is currently like 2 in the morning, so it's only been available for 2 hours where I am. Uh, if you watched my Horizon Forbidden West playthrough, you'll notice that I'm actually wearing a different uh, set here. Different uniform, I guess, uh, with face paint. Because I think the face paint looks cool, actually. Uh, green's my favorite color, so it's dyed green. And it gives me two extra things of hit. So, went from 15 to 17. Uh, my loadout, I think, is about the same. Nothing too crazy. So, I don't know. Uh, I also don't know how to start the DLC. So... I ended up playing through the game again to get the platinum trophy. I should go to my room and check out the focus I found in that rebel camp. How do I how do I start the DLC, I wonder? Where is the DLC? It said a thing about restarting the game. So maybe I have to do I I'm going to assume it's like this. is, Because if this is San Francisco, L.A. should be down here somewhere. Um, so once I figure out how to actually start the DLC, we'll get there. Hey, here we go. Thank you for installing the Burning Shores DLC. Features new quests that continue the main storyline and is set in an entirely new area of the map. Featuring new characters, machines, weapons, skills, tools, outfits, collectibles, and more. To start, make sure you have completed the main quest, Singularity, which we have. Aloy will then be contacted with next steps. The new skills are available at any time. Ghost levels will be returned upon re reaching the new max level. Oh, yeah, fix that. I'm on ghost level like 63 right now, so. Okay. A certain complication has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the Zenith base. And don't worry. I haven't disturbed her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. To the burning shores. Ah. R.I.P. Lance Reddick. Okay, burning shores, here we come. Are you serious? I can't. So I played a around a little bit last night to uh, get back familiar with the Uh, controls of Aloy. I played this game so much and then I played The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 back to back and the controls are so different. It, I've forgotten everything I learned during these. I literally was holding R1 to scan for listen mode like I was in The Last of Us. It was messed up. the problem with flipping between games you completely forget what you're doing hey buddy so this is where Tilda tried to reel you in what was her proposal that together you could save the planet just as your precious genetic mother always wanted I believe the old ones called that a baited switch Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world, when in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. Perhaps I'm just 
waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zenith to the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It will be a long search, I fear. So Laundra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Though he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. So where do you think Laundra went? The coast, far to the south. The area wrecked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago, it was called Los Angeles, a hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Laundra's space mining company, Heaven Sent, was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue Zenith? I sure am. Also, Heaven Sent. The logo had a little scent icon at the end of it, which is really douchey. Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, me boy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other Zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. What type hey, of a name is Laundra? I, I hope I haven't caught you in the middle of fighting a giant machine or something. <laughs> hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. Why'd you check in? Just message me for no reason? Landra's headquarters shouldn't be far. Can't, can't be good. Well, that doesn't look good.
Damn, Aloy. Were you actually flying just now? Yeah, just uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help too. Let's see what you got. Girl, you don't even know who I am. Assuming this is just, yeah. Oh, hey there. Name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. Are we falling in love? You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin on the hill northeast of here. That's where I was headed. Ruin on the hill. You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're going to have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with, too. Come on. Fine. Keep your secrets. This way. Follow me. No. I want to get stuff from the we'll have battlefield. We'll to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? The rudder is a bit off. I was after some parts to fix it. And sometimes you just need to hunt alone. So this is all covered in plasma, I guess. All right. You're back. All Let's the machines move. are gone. So. Huh. Oh wow! It's his whole. its own map I mean I guess yeah I mean the frozen wilds was too it was just connected I just need to attach this component I picked up hold tight never seen a boat like that before I need to gear ahead back at the settlement roped it together works well enough all right so let's check the notebook um, we got four new machines Um, burning shores progression. That'll do it. Skiff's good to go. Hop in. Oh no, not another one. Whoa! Oh, he took out a storm like bird. Said, Holy God! There's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay. Casting off. 
Huh. Sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the great ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. See, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Outlander's certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet Zen. Uplifting name. We weren't in great <laughs> spirits when we made landfall. They built it up, though, so it must have been a while ago. Okay, here we go. I feel like there's more cutscenes to start this one than there was for the Frozen Wilds. I don't know anything so further. So the story must be... May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. <laughs> Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral. Not a compliance officer. <laughs> By all means. the barbarian she's done for things seem kind of tense around here it's not our best day admiral garrett it's as i told you sir the proof is now before your eyes a soldier dared to don a diviner's focus the eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us in direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue, the ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andres headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage, not in our current situation, but she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner. No one else. Stay Shut up, dork. are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Shut up, dork. 
Outlander? Shove him into a I'd locker, like a please. When you have a moment. Hmm. Who does his voice acting? He is that is a crazy voice. It's like if a little kid swallowed gravel. Damn them. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that. My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator, our only means of getting home. I've got to find her, even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but for now, I think we need to calm down I and just- calm. Okay. Don't get hysterical now, ladies. You're right, of course. Okay. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except my sister is pretty well known among my people. You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now even more of them are missing. So I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to Rang in his toadies. So your sister is a navigator? More like the navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there, which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. Your hair is crazy. She and the others just disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. We're agreed on that. I wonder if the, the guy we're chasing kept them to, like, build a rocket ship for him. So we could get the hell out of here or something. Like some kind of slave labor. Is there anything else you can tell me about that tower? It just appeared one day a couple of weeks ago after our scout boats went missing. And it shoots at anything in the sky or sea. Machines, boats. You. Okay, don't remind me. I tried to get near it, but it's mounted on a tall ruin with machines all around. On the plus side, its range is limited. I've been testing it with my skiff and setting up buoys to mark the radius. <laughs> I can't tell if that's smart or reckless. Both, maybe. I'll admit there have been a couple of near misses. What exactly did you find on that Diviner's Focus? When the scout boat sent by the Admiral didn't return, he sent our very last one to find out what happened to them. Diviner Vi was on board. They made it as far as Starlight Rise, went inland and found a camp and a bunch of equipment. It looked like some of our people went into a ruin there. Then they spotted a machine, unlike anything we've seen. Silver and gold moved like a spider. That was great. Spooked, they ran back to their boat. They were lucky to escape. 
I've dealt with those things before. Well, their luck ran out fast. The morning they tried to sail back, the tower went up and blew them right out of the water. Vi's body washed ashore here sometime later. A friend of mine found it and let me know. The same friend that ratted me out to Rang for taking the focus. But what was I supposed to do? I would have done the same thing. Trust me. So your sister's body washed ashore, but she's missing? I don't think I heard that right. I think there's a way to do something about that tower. If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. Yep. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. Did kill some of them. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right, then. No pun intended. I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Again, though, I did kill a lot of the Quinn. Don't want that to get lost. All right, work fleets in, baby. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. Eh, no point in doing that. Oh, dude, look at the lava. It's probably going to be a tall neck somewhere. Why do we... Oh, oh we already know... Something's already on the map. You look like you're in a good mood today. Don't care about you. I was taught by a master. We're in Los Angeles. What the hell? I want to get... Oh. Oh my god. Um... Like I said, I'm trying to figure out how to get to where the, uh... Quality cooking. There we go. You hanging in there? Where's my stash at? There we go. Oh my god, open up. Let's equip everything we can. Make sure we're at full power. So I have like, <laughs> uh, it feels like basically unlimited That's money right now. Might interest you, Huntress. Oh, you are the hunter. Okay. <laughs> so I have what? Seventy-three thousand metal shards. Uh, whoops. 
The Black Tide Sharp Shot Bow was a pre-order bonus, but my bow is maxed out. Excuse me, maxed out, so there's no point in that. Alright, maxed out on resources. Let's get it. My paints are a form of art. Oh yeah, let me talk to the Admiral. So, the Barbarian strolls into camp with Seika. The two of you promised to find our missing people. And given our desperate situation, I have little choice but to agree. That doesn't mean I like trusting our fate to a stranger. Who are you? Where'd you come from? My name is Aloy. As for my life story, does it matter if I can help? <sighs> I suppose it depends on the cost. Compliance has traded sights on Seika, and by letting her gallivant off with a foreigner, I may have given her just enough rope to hang herself. It seems to me she can take care of herself, but I'll do my best to keep her out of trouble. Very well. To that end, is there anything you need to know? You seem to think highly of Seika. She is an exemplary Marine. Persistent, selfless, resourceful. Being stranded is a battle of attrition. Everyone wears down eventually, but not her. Not yet. I've come to rely on her more and more. She's our best hope for finding the missing. I'm sure of that. Your hat is ridiculous. You said your situation was desperate. How did all this happen? We sailed from across the great ocean. Ours was the tribe's most important mission in the century. It was to be my swan song. Now it will be my epitaph. A typhoon struck us midway, cleaving the fleet in two. I know not what happened to the other half. Scattered, stranded, probably sunk. I don't know, there's always hope. <laughs> After we beached, I sent out scout boats to explore the coast. None returned. And I haven't the craft nor manpower to mount a search. First I lost half my fleet, now I've lost half the survivors, so don't speak to me of hope. And yet, Seika found a clue on that focus. You're just like her. <laughs> yet don't give up. Do typhoons happen in the, like, north of the equator? Because there's the Coriolis effect. I don't know why I know this. And that's why hurricanes go east to west, and then south of the equator, everything goes west to east. I think those are called cyclones. So I don't actually know what a typhoon is. Compliance sure seems to have a lot of sway around here. Compliance officers are the eyes and ears of the Imperial House. It is their duty to ensure that the wisdom of our ancestors doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies. And so they ferried out the disloyal and disobedient inspections, interrogations, all in the name of security. All I see is one man causing a lot of unrest in your camp. Being liked is not part of Compliance's mandate. Assuming we ever return home, Rain will report on the crew to his superiors. That fact gives him a lot of influence. I can only pray that he uses it for the greater good. So if they came across the ocean, aren't they like Japanese or something? Why are they speaking English? Why are they all white? I'll do my best to help Seika bring back your people. If they're even still alive. There's that optimism. Keep safe if you can. All right, we'll do some of the side missions and stuff later. All right, so the Burning Shores kind of set up for us, kind of know what to expect. 
the the promo for this okay. showed us fighting a horse. Meet up with Seika and head to the tower. Orcross? Well, whatever the big like metal demons are. Um, Aloy, over here. Kind of thought that would be the big boss at the at the end of three, but. Hey, I'm here. So, uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay. Oh, we pick a trail? Let's go. Oh. Maybe not. About my people, but I barely know anything about you. Like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise? Uh, he's a, uh, fugitive. Come on. That's all you've got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. I got so much, so much, so many, so many metal shards that I don't, I'm not even like going for those machines anymore. We'll do this. Here's something absolutely horrible in the distance. So we're gonna have four new machines in the frozen wilds. We got the water wing. The other day, I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Four things crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go. In the frozen wilds, we got the frost claw, the fire claw, the control tower, and scorcher. And those were all pretty badass, so... Oh my god. A Thunderjaw and a... Uh, what is this? A Slaughter Spine, right? Could use frost ammo against it. Careful. Those machines are an easy hunt. Yeah, I know. Thought my share. Really? Well, I always like a good challenge. I'm in if you are. Stop that from here! Making progress! Oh shit! Hit it to the top right there! Still in the sprint. Well, the thunder jaws here, so that's good. Uh, at least I assume that's what that was. I saw the scan. Let's get some more of you. Make some more of you. Alright, so Thunderjaw's not here. These little fuckers the are. Was busy. Let's get this done! It's caught up in the adhesive! What the hell? Caught up in the adhesive. Oh. That thing was? 
There's just a rock floating there. Good job, physics. Can I walk under the rock? Oh, I sure can. Um... Hey, Mr. Thunderjaw. So she has, like, glue traps or something that, uh, get them to stick. That's interesting. Eh, it's good to get my, uh, knock off the rust by fighting some of those big, excuse me, big machines again. We just, we went out of the way to fight them, huh? Damn it. All right. Oh, I see another burrower. Well, that was terrible. Missed that badly. Really? Okay. Do 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 do. like a sunwing, but the crest on its head's different. Before the tower went up, we used to see them diving off the coast all the time. Diving? So our plan is to just kind of run up on this We're tower? close to the tower. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. I've got your back. I'm good. Yeah. Look at all that stuff. That's the last of them. There's some kind of machine. Gross. I haven't seen that before. Kinda what looks like fuck? an egg. A sting spawn. Those things are gonna be annoying. Look, bees. Sting spawn. Small machine produced by a uh, bile gut. Go. Bitch. More of those eggs. Okay. Those definitely weren't here last time. Well, we found one of the four machines. Oh my god, dude, they're everywhere. Doc, those are everywhere. Yep. I'm feeling we're about to find out what 
move in. Carefully. Here we go! Oh shit, hey there. <laughs> he screamed like a Star Wars android. So I tried to use my bow, but this is it. Whoa. This is more effective. Big ugly machine alert. We'll have to deal with it to get into the tower. Oh! See what you got then. That's a bile gut. Is You're it, what is it like a move. frog? Oh. Shit. Let's get this done. Hold on, let's look at this. A bile gut. Uh weak against fire and frost. Yeah, it is, I think it is a... Look at the tongue. I think it is like a frog. Whoa, we've got a jumper. Oh, definitely a frog. Oh, shit. This thing sucks, man. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dude. this. Man, that sucked. Good fight. Come on. The entrance I found is this way. That thing jumping around? And I was trying to it said it was weak to frost, but the frost ammo wasn't doing any damage to it. I'll have this for this soon enough. Aloy, shall we continue? Shut up. Bile guts. Let me get my health. Yeah, please do. Let me get my health replenished here. There's a geyser. For an upward boost, deploy the shield wing by holding... Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Well, that's neat. Alright. Let's get it, Let's get Seiko. Going.
kind of funny if she turned out to be the bad guy and her name actually meant psycho the whole time. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. I'll have to warn our patrols later. Doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. That flashlight just popped up on its own, by the way. Through here. Just gotta get across. Think you can make it? Watch me. <laughs> she says falling. Uh, oh my god. This is so embarrassing. I said I could make it. I'll get back up here. Couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. Maybe a pull caster? Yep. There we go. You made that look easy. About your I'm a pro. I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Londra. He's a Zenith. It's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. yep. <laughs> You're serious. I know so it wants me to do that met, double jump they, uh, thing. Recognized me? I, I look like one of your ancestors. But I guess since your diviners are gone, none of your people feel like the connection. Oh. Yeah, those of us left are just sailors and soldiers. Sorry for the weird kind of stop and start. My, uh... My game, like, flipped out. So this is part two of... I almost said The Last of Us Burning Shores. It is amazing that the human brain can't adapt. Like, <laughs> I've been playing The Last of Us so much over the last, you know, couple weeks. Uh, if I, you want to check those out, I have The Last of Us, The Last, Last of Us Left Behind DLC, and The Last of Us 2 up on the channel. The uh, Last of Us 2 ongoing as I'm recording this, but Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. So welcome to part two of that. I have no idea. Oh. Ooh. Well, uh, there you go, Seika. <sighs> Thanks. No idea exactly what's going to happen in this. What we're going to learn. Think you could get that vent open? Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. Oh. Well, happy accident, I guess. Um...
All right. It's not hooking onto that. What? Does this have to be up here, maybe? What's the triangle? It's always been a circle. Oh my god. I am... My, fav my least favorite parts of these games have always been the climbing and dropping down all of these fucking... Oh my god. This broken building is not fun. I would like to not do that. Art dude, come on, man. I feel like I'm... Oh my fucking god. I feel like I'm a bird in a house trying to get out. Can grapple to that vent. What the hell are you talking about? Grapple to the vents. You can grapple strike certain objects by tapping X in the air while in range. Whoa, that was cool. She flies, she fights machines, and she has fancy moves. Stop hitting on me. Um... Oh, okay. Oh my god, if I fall again. Wish you'd come along earlier. Might have gotten more done by now. Yep. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. Yep. I grew up an outcast, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm better off without them. Damn. And from what I saw back at the settlement... Maybe you would be too? I am one of the chosen people. Not some weak meat sailor who abandons ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. Let's get going! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! I hate this so goddamn much! God! I hate traversal in this fucking series. Really. Just let me get to the fucking thing I need to get to, please. God damn, I gotta go all this again. Deploy the shield wing. Yeah, I know. Um So you want me to you want me to glide over here? Nice shortcut! I'll find another way over. I expected that to break. I really I did. Think we're almost at the top. Then we can find a way to shut the tower down. That's probably not true. Sounds like the tower's found another target. So we are supposed to get Nope. Uh Supposed to meet four new machines, right? Well, we already met these two: a bile gut, which is a froggy, and a sting spawn, which is like a little bee. We're missing two here. One, I think, is going to be that bird that she talked about with the crest that they saw diving. I don't know what the fourth one's going to be. down another machine. Can't wait to shut it down. This thing, a water wing, is going to be the third machine. What's this? What the hell? Yellow shine? Brim shine silk sliver. Some kind of crystal. Oh, strong smell. Merchants might be interested though. So in Frozen Wild, you had blue gleam, 
In this, the original game, you had green shine. Now we have brim shine. Rare and valuable resource. Okay. Whoa. That looks like uh, Xena technology, which, you know, I guess makes sense. This definitely looks like something Lander would have built. Whoa. Okay. But how do we stop it when part of it's way up there? Let's take a look around. Uh, right. Find something? Maybe. Never seen anything like this, but there's got to be a way to stop it. Be funny if there wasn't. The game was just like, sucks for y'all. <laughs> we we didn't program a way to stop this into the game. So. Access now. Coming down. Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. Recording from Londra. Let How do you know who I am? Reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I'm one step ahead of you. Uh, that doesn't look good. Getting ready to fire it up. Get the cover. Oh shit! Stop this thing. Let me scan. I'll draw its fire. It's got a power core on the back. I gotta get up there to destroy it. Hey! Just hurry! Oh damn. Damn, it's... I thought I was good behind that, uh... Can he get me through here? I need to get higher. What did that say? Uh, damage unstable fire glade. It's gonna fall. Are you? I'm just gonna let it kill me. Oh, it's okay. It reset. How are we supposed to stop this thing? Let me scan it. I'll draw its fire. There's no point in scanning it. I know it has the power cell, or the power That's core. It. I thought we were good. That's an interesting little battle, wasn't it? I don't want to go down into the fire. That was intense. I'm trying to raid it. 
Can I not get any machine parts or anything from it? Oh my god. Aloy, I swear to god. Ancestors, what a wreck. See, it's showing like I can get stuff from it. Oh, uh, maybe it's in the cutscene. Alright, let's talk to her and see if we get some stuff from it. Well, that didn't go exactly how I thought it would. It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister, and the living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay, I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along. Nope, I guess not. On to me. Hmm? Thick is not like other Quinn. That's for sure. And with the tower down, I could check out the area before meeting up with her. Maybe stock up on some resources while I'm at it. There we go. Elite critical hits? What is that? Is that a weave? Oh, it is. Elite deployments? Can be equipped on any outfit. Elite critical hits on trip casters or rope casters. All right, well, I don't use those, so. Huh, okay. Neato, though. Uh, let's go to this campfire. 